I'm Delphine Dean, and I know bioengineering. Bioengineering is a field that takes um, lots of disciplines and puts them together uh, to work on problems um, having to do with health and medical issues. Um, so things like implants and different devices that you may have heard of being put in people, those are made by bioengineers. The particular thing I work on is um, bio nanomechanics, uh, which is a mouthful, but uh, what we're looking at is how um, cells and molecules interact and, and um, what happens when you push on them and you stretch them. Um, and that has a lot of applications. If you think about, say, your blood vessel, um, as your, your heart pumps your blood, it has to stretch and the cells on that blood vessel have to stretch. And so if you have some kind of disease and the cells start to malfunction, um, that causes all sorts of problems. And so those are the kinds of things we're looking at and, and trying to build um, computer models so we can predict when things go wrong. So to look at uh, mechanics of, of biological things at a very small scale, you, um, you have to use kind of some fancy equipment. The main technique we use is atomic force microscopy, or AFM. And the way that works is you have a, a tiny, tiny little tip, and you can come in and you can push on the cell, or you can also image the cell, and as the tip scans across the surface, it'll go up and down depending on what's on the surface, and then you can uh, record that. So you can get sort of like a, so a topography, sort of like mountains and things like that, but at a very small scale, so you can see what the structure of the cell looks like. So AFM is a very powerful technique, but actually, um, if you've ever seen an old record player, it works exactly like that, only very, very small. And so that's how we can actually measure these very, very small forces um, and interactions. So to kind of do um, bioengineering, uh, you kind of have to be able to do both biology and then some kind of engineering discipline. So it really requires that you have a, a, a large set of skills. So in the lab, my students, they do cell culture, so they grow cells. Um, they also do mechanical testing. They uh, do some electrical measurements. Um, so you kind of uh, combine lots of disciplines at once in the lab, so you kind of have to learn to be a jack of all trades in your field. So one of the projects we work on in the lab is looking at how cells will differentiate. So uh, you may have heard of stem cells. Stem cells are cells um, in your body that are uh, not programmed yet. And then say you have an injury, say you cut yourself, then these cells will go in that area and become the new skin cells that repair the tissue. Um, the problem is some tissues um, don't repair themselves very well or the stem cells can't get there very well. And so there's a large project going on right now in South Carolina to look at how we can get stem cells to go and repair tissues that otherwise might not be repaired, like your heart. And what we're doing in the lab is looking at how these cells, as they mature and become the tissue that they're going to become, how their mechanical properties change. Um, and so if you think about growing these cells in the lab in a dish, um, they start out very soft and kind of amorphous. Uh, and then over time, say if they become muscle cells, they'll start to lengthen. And if you think, you know, your muscles is very strong and the cells are stiff. Um, if I'm gonna take these cells now and put them in the body, if I wait too long, they might not integrate with the tissue that's already there. Um, so I might have to put them in right away, but if I put them in right away, they're very soft. So if I put them in your muscle, for instance, right away, and I have these very soft cells, they'll get stretched too far and, and the cells will die. So we're trying to look at kind of as they mature, when do they start getting stiffer and when might be the best time to then take them out of a Petri dish and put them back in you to repair um, some area that's damaged.